it's Simon Raybould. It's Simon mate? Raybould. It's Simon Raybould again. Oh, are you are you so desperate and short of friends? You have to have me back for a second time. <laughs> That's the... So I done Zoe and Zach. I got to Z. I thought, what am I going to do now? Where am I going to go? Where am I going to go? Go backwards down the alphabet. Backwards, exactly. The and since Z, I'm Z, since yeah. I'm dyslexic, you are my first choice. What's <laughs> happening with you? Physical gigs yet, or is it virtual? Or you're still in it's collateral writing? Still virtual gigs. Uh, no physical gigs at all at the moment. There are physical gigs in the diary now, which there weren't last time we spoke, which is which is nice. Um, they're in pencil and they're in January. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Uh, but but we have had a conversation with the, the client there who said, "Let's to God's sake, let's hope we can go indoors because nobody wants an outdoors gig." In January in Scotland. <laughs> yeah, there. exactly. It's a different proposition, like all these pub gardens saying, we're saved, we can have a pub garden session. We're in England, yeah. mate. We're in Britain. Yeah. You know, it's not going to happen. Not going to happen. You speak yourself. I'm nearly in Scotland, man. I've you the are the other side of the wall. Build that wall. Who's going to pay for it, etc. So I, I, I would think, yeah. say, he said provocatively to a presentation genius, self acclaimed. Uh presentations, it's blatant obvious, mate, that starts with the audience. No, 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 I'm going to scream, I'm going to scream. You need to start your delivery where the audience are. I'll give you that, because there's no point in using language and jargons and stuff they don't understand. But if you start with the audience, if your first thing you think about is the audience, all you are is entertainment. How dare Stucking. you? Shocking, I know. That so this trivial and meaningful ch channel is just about just, entertainment. Yeah, you're just Jimmy Carr. Fuck off, you know, you're funny, you're witty, you're have clever, you seen, you're not getting as paid as much as you Have you seen his tax returns? Yeah. But think about this for a second. If you don't know what it is you're trying to tell the audience, what is the hell point of standing up there in the first place? So okay. while I would agree that the delivery starts with the audience, the design starts with the message. It starts with what the hell it is you're trying to do. Um, let's, let's paraphrase Covey. Let's paraphrase Covey. Start with the end in mind. Start with the end Start. in mind. Stephen R. met him. Difficult to do that now. Well, yeah. I, to be honest, you can meet him as much as you like. Don't expect him to answer you, but you know. So to me, the audience are starting somewhere in terms of their motivation, their energy, their alacrity for what's going on. So it's start, influence, end, action. So what do we call a presentation without an action at the end? That's what I would call entertainment. Entertainment, yeah. But without the action, the action for me, the action comes from what the hell it is you're trying to do in the first place. So we might elevate that to your, was it to your... Uh, purpose, I call it purpose. Is exactly, the your crash the, car, yeah. the crash the car analogy. Um, oh yeah, the park thing. Yeah, it's 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 a really cool little teaching device I use because um, I like acronyms because people remember acronyms. So, yeah. so the um, the acronym is Park Purpose Audience Resources Content, and it's really simple. Purpose is what the hell are you trying to do? Come the end of the presentation, what is it you want the audience to be doing or thinking of, of whatever differently? What's the change you're looking for in the Love world? It. Audience, what do you know about them? How clued up are they? How resentful are they? Do they want to be there? How do they speak? Yeah, do, are, are they just there for the free tea and biscuits? We call those people chair fillers. And to be honest, most audiences are at least 50% full of chair fillers. Um, do they even speak your language? Because I'm, I'm working a lot in China at the moment. And although they speak, they speak English, they don't speak my English. Love it. Uh, and then there's resources. What kit do I have? Um, do I have PowerPoint? Do I have slides? Do I have a whiteboard? Uh, these days, do I have Zoom? Because not everybody has access to Zoom. So I'm working with a lot of clients who. And not every won't trainer use. can use yeah. Zoom. That's not true. Every trainer can use Zoom. Not every trainer can use Zoom well. <laughs> and I will go further and go. Can you not bring every back. Trainer should use Zoom. <laughs> Can you bring back a whiteboard from a breakout room? That's advanced. Uh, if you can't, then what the hell are you doing pretending that you're a trainer? Is the Exactly. Mind you, have you seen that wonderful little new beta test thing that Zoom have got going on where you can embed yourself into your slides? There you go. There you go. That's quite, that's quite cool. Why um, you and I are it. trainers, we don't want to embed ourselves in anything. We want to turn up, <laughs> do the work, get the fee and go away again, surely. 
No, no, no. I just want to get the feed. The rest of it is it's, a... <laughs> it's, a, it's an inconvenience. So it's, 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 it's purpose, audience, resources, and only then do you design the content. Once you know what you're doing, who you're doing it for, what equipment you have to play with. Um, and the best bit about it is if, to be honest, if you do it backwards, which is what most people do, if you start with the content and go backwards, you get something completely different. You don't get P-A-R-C, Park. You get C-A-R-P, which is completely different. And it's a Our great way to literate it. viewers are chuckling at this moment. The ones that aren't are writing it down and trying to figure... <laughs> Can I, Doris, get a mirror. Get a mirror. <laughs> Love it. There's a lot going on there. A lot going. Yeah, that resourcefulness, that idea, the attention. Just what are you trying to aim for? Fantastic yeah, and instructive. I know, how many people start with a pitch, or they start with passion? So you've got this speaker. Let's generalise, and it's that passion that makes them vomit on a slide, almost literally. Yeah, yeah. And it's all going to go wrong. And you're wasting what forty percent of your time, or they have to call you or call me and say uh, it's well, all gone yeah, horribly I wrong. Do you, know, do you know what, though? The number of clients I get where they come in and go, can you help us with this presentation? And I turn up and I go, what do you... And they give me 32 or 42 or, God help them, 132 slides. And you just look at it and go, this is storyline spaghetti. Um, what, and what, what's the presentation about? And it turns out that what the presentation they had in their mind was, throw onto the slides everything we ever knew about x so it's either yeah brainstorming vomit or it is uh the finals at cambridge where i really just have to download data the slide equivalent of really going to the loo when you know when you just you just and you just go and and you, when you stand up you're about three pounds lighter it's the slide equivalent of that but i would say you don't feel as good